Hey guys, it's Miss Anderson here, and I want to talk to you for a short time about um, our topic for this month, which is handling our emotions and our feelings. So I want to work with you and talk to you for the next few weeks over things that we can do when we're feeling extra mad or frustrated or stressed or if we have emotions that can be hard to handle. So first of all, let's talk about emotions and feelings. And you all are old enough and you understand what those are. But I just want to tell you that uh, make sure you understand that it's normal to have all the feelings. To be mad, to be upset, to be frustrated, to be sad or angry or excited or happy. Whatever those feelings are, everybody has those feelings and it's normal to go through all those. So it's not bad to ever have mad feelings, sad feelings, upset feelings, confused. It's not bad to have those feelings. What's bad or what's hard is when those feelings are so strong that we don't know what to do with them. And we let it interfere with how we treat other people or how we go about our day. So let's say we're really angry because we cannot get our assignments to load on our iPad <laughs> and it's really hard to get things turned in, which is understandable. It would be okay to be mad and upset about that, but we have to figure out what we can do to fix the problem and to make our brains feel better for that time. So for instance, um, we can't just go be mad and be mean to everybody because our iPads aren't working. We have to figure out a way to handle that problem and to deal with the stress of that situation. So maybe you have some things that you use at home when you're mad, when you're upset. That's awesome. I hope you've already found some things that you can do when you're disappointed, when you're angry, when you have these negative emotions that help you get through those. If you have it though, we are going to talk about a few things that can help you. And these can help you while you're at school, while you're at home, while you're playing sports, whatever you might be doing when these negative emotions come up and sometimes when their emotions are really big and we need to handle them. So these things are called, I call them coping strategies or coping skills. Basically, coping means dealing. So a way to deal with your emotions, to manage them, make them manageable. So you're going to have a Google slide, and I've given you a Google slide list of things that you could practice. Now, this is not even close to all the things you could do. There's several things, but these are some routine, basic things that can help you when you're at the store, when you're at home, when you're anywhere. So let's pretend we're having the iPad issues again. Your assignments aren't loading. You're just getting really frustrated. So the first thing we can try is deep breaths. And I know several of you have heard me talk about deep breaths before, but I, that's probably one of my favorite because I use them a lot. And you can use them no matter where you are, whether you're at home, at school, the playground, wherever you might be, you have your breath with you. So um, basically, deep breaths, you just inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out. And there's different ways you can practice deep breaths. You can do shape breathing, like make a square, go down, across, out, up, over. There's take five, I like to call it. So I'm going to put my finger on the bottom of my thumb. When I go up my fingers, I'm going to breathe in. And when I go down my fingers, I'm going to breathe out. And I would continue this all the way across my hand. So that's one way to practice deep breaths. There's so many different ways to practice deep breaths. And we will go over some of these more. Another thing you might have tried is squeezing a stress ball. Or other fidget items that might make you feel better. Stress ball, I like stress balls. If I'm feeling a little stressed, it can help me squeeze out some of that to where I feel more regulated and more normal. Another thing you can do, and you'll find all these on your Google Slides, is imagine a peaceful, calming place. So if I'm feeling overwhelmed with negativity, whether I'm mad, frustrated, sad, things like that, I'm going to imagine a peaceful place. And wherever that might be for you, maybe it's the beach. Maybe it's your grandma's house. Maybe it's church. Maybe it is um, in your bedroom. Wherever that might be, imagine that you're there. 
And sometimes just taking your mind to that place can calm you down. Another thing that you're going to see on there is to think of three positive things. So oftentimes when we get mad or sad or frustrated or annoyed, we tend to get negative. Okay? And, and we got to find a way to get out of that negativity. So three positive things helps you think of not just the negative situations going on, but what you need to do to be more positive or that's positive in your life. So I may think of three positive things. I might think of the sunshine. I might think of my house. I might think of my family. I might think of my favorite food that I'm going to eat later. Okay? So these positive things can help you come out of having negative thoughts and help you turn them to positive thoughts. And then the last thing, if you are, let's go back to our problem, the iPad problem. Let's pretend that's our problem. Um, I'm going to just write down why I'm frustrated and what I would want to tell my teacher. And sometimes just getting that out and on paper helps you feel better. Let's say it's a problem you're having with your brother or sister. Write it down. What would you tell your brother or sister? Because sometimes if you're ar arguing and you're not happy going to them, it might not be the best time. So maybe if you get to write it and help you think it out, it might make you and them feel better. So we're going to continue the next few weeks to talk about different coping strategies and what you can use and to help you handle your emotions. And sometimes our emotions aren't exactly negative emotions. Maybe we're so excited because we have something awesome we're going to do this weekend and we can't handle our excitement and so we can't sit still. That ever happened to you? That happens to Miss Anderson a lot. So same thing, these same strategies can be used in to just kind of calm ourselves down. I can take my deep breaths to help me relax, okay? So I hope that if you don't use some of these strategies already, that you find a few that really work for you throughout these next few weeks. And so when, when this is over, I'm going to ask you to, um, first of all, comment if you have any strategies that you like to use that, right now to calm yourself down uh, and to manage your emotions. And then second of all, you're going to complete the Google Slides activity. It should not take very long. You're just going to practice these things and let me know what you think about them. So have a great day. Have a great week. Let me know if you need anything.